Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by and check them out. In tonight's shave, I am using my Parker, and this is the best silver steel, and it is nice. Look at that. That's quarter hollow, just a beautiful razor. And for our soap tonight, we are using the Swedish Witch, and this is her vegan formula. It is black pepper, cypress, and a hint of lavender. And it's just a marvelous scent that's just relaxing. I really enjoy this one, so that's good. All right, now, for our tip of the day, before anything else happens, all right, check out this beard, okay? I kind of let that grow a little bit uh, because I had a comment earlier uh, last week in on the Wednesday shave, that on Wednesday, so, I went ahead and let that kind of grow out. I normally don't do that because, see that bump there? Probably got a couple of bumps there. It just happens to me. But I want you to look. Tip of the day is you need to mat that beard, all right? So this side, see how that comes down straight more or less and then starts hooking back? And then here, this, comes down and hooks back as well along that jawline. And now what you can do, you can just run your finger in both directions and you'll be able to tell which way is against the grain, all right? Now, same thing on this cheek. If you look at that, this pretty well goes straight down here and then starts hooking back, not quite as much, but right here, if I do that, that is against the grain. And I know there, you can't really see that much, but I got some blonde stragglers right up in there somewhere. Either that or gray. I don't know. And then that mustache area, basically down and out. All right, until you get down here. This is pretty much straight down here, straight down and kicking out in this area. All right, now here, see this? Kicking out this way. On this side, kicking out this way. All right. So that's the way my beard grows. So right in here, that's pretty much against the grain like that. All right. So that's how you can tell. And you need to map your beard. That way you'll be able to know how to shave. So that's the tip of the day. Map your beard. All right. Now, I've had that soap blooming. We're going to go ahead and pour that off and put that on this pre-shave, all right? That's what we always do, and it works for me. Now, I did just get out of the shower, and that means I got that beard all prepped up in the shower. And we're just going to work that in, and there you go. All good. Now for our brush tonight, we are going back to the Samoog Owners Club. Yep, we're gonna give that a shot. And I will probably be doing a brush review between the Samoog Owners Club and the Omega 10,098. I want to show you the brushes, show you how they broke in and uh, what they look like dry. Now I can't show you what it looks like dry today because we're doing a shave. Yeah, and that's good. So how you doing? Oh, I hope you're having a good weekend. Yeah, and having some downtime, being able to enjoy yourself, maybe have a good shave, right? Yeah, just enjoy a shave 
relax, be with family and friends. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. And can't have enough downtime, right? The world is a busy place, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, really is. So, hopefully you are finding that balance between the world, work, and family, and being able to enjoy yourself. Yep. All right. Now, I think, I think we're there on the soap. All right. Now, again, I've only shaved with this brush really, I'm trying to think, once. So we broke it in. I shaved with it on camera, and now this is going to be the second go with this brush because I switched back Wednesday to the Omega to be able to give that a try. And this one seems to be giving up some hairs right out of the gate, which I'm not sure about that, but it's okay. It seems to be overstuffed anyway. So that's a good thing. All right, now, here you go, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, oh yeah, nice. Let's get our lather on. Yep. Now I do Straight Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. So stop on by, check that out. And uh, you can see me breaking in this brush right up here on this card if you missed it. And then uh, you'll be all caught up on the latest Straight Razor Edge Friday special. Now, I do these based on your questions, comments, and suggestions you leave down in the comments of these videos. So, go ahead. Give me some questions, comments, make some suggestions for a upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we're going to get to it. Yep. I know I've got at least a couple pony series or videos to make, so that'll be good. Look at that soap. Isn't that great? And I really enjoy the boar hair because I can really work that lather into those whiskers and get those whiskers nice and standing up with that brush. It's quite good. So now, this is going to be pass one, primarily with the grain as much as I can. Let's do it. Check that out. Just cut right through it. Now this razor I did right before the shave, like a couple of days before the shave, I did hone it up, did a full complete hone from bevel set all the way up to the ILR and it is smooth. It feels good.
Oh yeah, nice. Really good. Oh, and that soap is excellent. Doing so good with that soap. Now, get that razor cleaned off. Because I got some serious whisker happening here. Yep. There we go. Now. There we go. Nice. Now here this last week, it's been nice. It's been incredible as far as temperature goes. I think Wednesday it was like lower 70s, which is crazy for us. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about it. It's good. Yep. All right, check out this soap. That is amazing. It is so good. Got good cushion, nice and slick, which is what you need. Pass one complete and doesn't look like we did too bad on those bumps you know everything looks like it's all right which is good yeah now let's get that washed off see how we did that's it oh yeah okay that's good yeah we did good normally when I haven't shaved for three or four days like that it ends up, I hit a bump or two. It just happens. But so far, so good. Now, let's go ahead and get our lather on for pass two. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still kind of getting used to this brush as well. Because it is a bit smaller than what I've been using for quite a while. But that's all right. It's good to try new things, right? Like we were talking about in the Wednesday video. Wonderful Wednesday. <laughs> all right, looking good.
All right. Now, this is pass two. This is going to primarily be, I'm going to try to do against the grain on my cheeks. And I'm going to also try against the grain on my neck like this here, maybe here, maybe here. Those may just be across the grain just because it's easier. Let's do it though. All right, there we go. Now, switching hands. And that's a light touch as well. You don't want to overdo it. Let that razor cut. That soap is getting a little thin. We're going to do a refresh on that. Um, I, again, am getting used to this brush, so that's all right. It's all good. Here we go. Let's just go ahead, do a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, it's all about getting used to your equipment, what you use, how you use it, how everything works. That's it.
Nice razor. I really like this one. All right, looking good. Now, there you go, pass two complete. Yep, felt good too. Really good. Now, let's see how we did. All right. Oh, yeah. All oh, those cheeks are good. Yep. And that neck is getting better. I'm getting better at it. I think I did a little better on this side than I did this side. But that's not bad. That's not bad, because that, that is kind of a whole new stroke for me. So in doing that, I'm learning something new. Yeah. All right. So now this is the half pass. And this is primarily going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Okay. For the most part, that's what this is going to do. And if you haven't seen it, I've got the half pass totally revealed up here in this card and uh, you can check that out. It may be helpful. I know this is the only way I'm able to do this and get a really good shave. Okay, now let's do this. Oh, there we go. Getting it all over me. Hmm. Very good. Okay, now we're going to switch hands and get the other side. Maybe even do a refresh on that. There we go. I'll get that brush dialed in. Just a matter of time.
There we go. Another shave in the books. Yep. That chin is really already good. I don't need to do anything else with that. That was brilliant from the beginning. Oh yeah. Oh nice. That's another good shave. Yes it is. Alright. Now for our aftershave. Thayer's Lavender. Because this is going to work with that hint of lavender that that soap has. It is marvelous. And I enjoy. I really enjoy the lavender scent. Mmm, that's so good. Yep. And we're going to top this shave off with Nivea Pochet Balm. Oh, yeah. Nice. This is good stuff. Good for the skin. We're going to just put that on and get that everywhere. That's good. All right. Hey, thank you so much. It is so good to have you stop by for the shave. Really appreciate it. You click right up here to see the best how-to shave video you've ever seen. Click over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video especially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.